What's up guys, I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery, and today we're gonna to talk about the Push Industries ACS3 coil kit. So, for those of you who don't know who Push Industries is, they are a small company out of Loveland, Colorado of dedicated mountain bikers, and they are hands down the biggest suspension nerds in the mountain bike industry by a long shot. They've been around a couple decades, and they originally started focusing on doing fork rebuilds and custom fork tunes, and then they started evolving into making their own products, making a rear shock, making these coil conversion kits, um, and a number of other things. They're making all of their product in Colorado with their own CNC machines and testing it all there, which is pretty phenomenal. So they are uh, basically the gurus on the block in the mountain bike industry. And a lot of the products they've been coming out with, we've started getting a lot more traction on in terms of like our internal staff here and local riders and our customers. And a lot of it's just been consumer demand. So we've always sort of known push um, as a company where you could send your fork off to to get you know a custom tune done. Um, but since they've started making their own products and contacting retailers that are in the high-end mountain bike space, we've had a lot of influx from customers saying, hey, do you have the 11.6 rear shock for this bike? I wanna get it. Do you have this coil kit, blah, blah, blah. So we've started taking on a lot more push inventory and getting to know it a lot more and figured we'd do some reviews on it. All of the stuff is super high-end. Uh, you could consider it like the very boutique top level tier of suspension. A lot of it right now, now, aside from the 11.6, which is its own rear shock, the coil kits and some of the other products they make are basically just um, add-ons that go onto your existing super nice fork, such as a Fox 36 or a RockShock Pike or a RockShock Lyric. So this brings me to the product we're gonna talk about today, the ACS3 coil kit. So let's dive into that. The ACS3 coil kit. Why did Push make it and what does it do? So what the ACS coil kit does is it basically takes your air fork and turns it into sort of a coil fork slash hybrid to get the best of both worlds. It works on modern Fox 36s, RockShock Pike lyrics and Yaris. And by the way, link in the video description below that goes to a blog post that has all this stuff in text and detailed graphs and all of that sort of stuff if you wanna check it out there. But what this thing does, traditional forks, for those of you that don't know, you basically got your spring side and your damper side. And in the forks they made this for, the 36, um, the, the Lyric, Yari, and the Pike, they have an air spring in the left stanchion. And the traditional air spring is pretty simple. It basically just sits in there and you have an air spring and then you can, as you know, no, thread off your top cap, add tokens to it, and that'll change how progressive your fork is. And then you have obviously the air valve at the top to adjust how stiff it is. Why would you want to change it to a coil? Well, coil suspension, as everyone's sort of known over the years, and it's getting a lot more popular in terms of like coming back these days, uh, it has some really good advantages. Uh, most notably is sort of that linear feel and that supple feel that it has. Um, those are the reasons why Push developed this. So a traditional air fork, just like a traditional air shock, it has advantages and disadvantages. Advantages, it's definitely lighter. Um, disadvantages, it's harder to make them really supple. Every sort of advancement that has happened in air suspension, whether it be at forks or shocks in the last handful of years, has basically been trying to make it um, more like a coil suspension, but also still keep the one single advantage of air suspension, which is being able to tune how progressive it is. So just a straight coil is the best feeling ever, but it's typically very linear. And by linear, I mean it doesn't ramp up at all in how stiff it gets. So you can tend to blow through the travel really quick. Um, Push came to the market with this coil kit trying to do the best of both worlds. So the first 65% um, of the travel is 100% coil. And so the coil you get with this thing is very specific to your riding style and your riding weight. And that you can dial in on Push's website. Again, link below in the video description to go to all the details there. Um, so 65% of the travel, 100% coil. It's supple, it feels super amazing, and it's totally linear. Um, Push does recommend that you use their seals on the fork as opposed to the stock seals, uh, dust wiper seals I'm saying there. Um, they think they're 100 times more uh, plush and supple and smooth in terms of seals, which they probably are. Um, so that's their recommendation there to sort of get the most advantage out of the coil kit. 
But where this gets tricky, it doesn't just convert your fork to coil because then you have this mechanism right here, which uh, is their advanced coil system. This basically is um, an air spring, but it only affects that last 35% of travel. And you can change that by using uh, the Schrader valve on top of it. So you have that first 65% of travel, which is just pure coil, supple and plush and linear. And then this, you can adjust from, I believe, five to 50 PSI. And that's gonna determine how, st how stiff and how aggressive that ramp up is at the end. So for example, if you put five PSI in this thing, your fork's gonna be like pretty much entirely linear. And if you put 50, you're gonna have, once you get through 65%, this thing runs into this. And now you have that last 35% of travel ramping up very aggressively. So you're getting the best of both worlds. And that is the entire point of this system is you get the beauty of a coil suspension and you get the beauty of an air suspension in one single package. So it is a pricey upgrade. It's only you know made for those nice forks to begin with. Uh, it's 309 bucks for the kit plus 80 bucks for the spring. And again, you need to get the right spring for your weight. Um, those are some of the details on what this thing is and why Push made it. Now let's dive into if it actually works or not. So when you consider what the ACS3 coil kit does, the first thing you're wondering is, is it actually gonna make your existing fork better? Your existing fork was expensive and it works very well and you're probably happy with it, but you're wondering, is this the best of both worlds in terms of air and coil, which is the claim that Push makes and uh, you know the biggest curiosity here. So that was the coolest part for me when I got to go out and test it because I've spent an extensive amount of time on a Pike, on a Lyric and on a 36 without the ACS3 kit and then putting it on um, this bike here that has 140 mil travel Pike on it. Uh, super interesting. It definitely does what they say it does in terms of giving you um, coil-like suspension for the first 65% of your travel, and then air-like suspension in the remainder, which basically just means how progressive it is. And that was the whole idea behind it. What do you notice right off the bat? Well, right off the bat, um, on this pike, it definitely had more off the top suppleness. Um, that's kind of a hard thing to explain over, over words. You kind of have to feel it, but if you've ever ridden coil suspension versus air suspension, um, or even just written an old air fork versus a new air fork, they've gotten a lot more supple over the years. That's what it does. And when you, when your fork gets more supple like that, especially in that first, you know, 50%, 65% of your travel, what you're going to notice is the thing feels like it has way more traction and it's way more planted. Um, and that's a really good feeling, right? Especially when you're in rough corners, rocky terrain, um, it keeps your bars stable and it makes the bike feel planted. Um, and just, it just wants that, it keeps that tire stuck to the ground and it keeps it gripping, which is an awesome feeling. It definitely um, is impressive to put this in there and see how nice that is. Um, and then when you dive into the bigger hit stuff, you get that advantage of the air suspension, which is it being progressive. So that's where um, basically this, you know, air stop kit comes into play because it's in that remaining 35% of travel and you can adjust how progressive it is with just a shock pump, which is really convenient. Whereas typical forks, when you adjust how progressive they are, you're going to need to put tokens in them. This thing, you just thread a shock pump on and pump it up. So out on the trail, right off the bat, more supple, more planted for sure. Um, and it still does retain that progressive feeling. So it really does do exactly what Push said it was going to do in that sense. Um, is that the feel you're going for? Well, it kind of depends on what you're riding. If you're super happy with your fork's performance right now and you just legitimately cannot imagine it being any better, um, then it might not be the right kit for you. If you're thinking right now, wow, I wish this um, Pike Lyric Yari 36 was a little bit more supple, um, then you probably might actually really enjoy this because you're gonna get to retain that same amount of um, progressivity at the end and then just get a way more supple off the top feeling. And that makes way more difference, especially at high speed, especially in rocky and rough terrain. Riding this thing initially on the pike kind of gave me flashbacks of actually testing the MRP ribbon coil fork. Um, that is a pretty impressive fork that actually has a pretty similar feel than this pike sort of evolved into once you put the push ACS3 kit inside of it. So 
on the trail, it did what it said it did. That was impressive. Um, I was definitely super satisfied with how it felt and it was fun sort of playing around with the adjustment. Obviously you do need to get the right coil for your body weight and that you can determine in a chart that push has. Um, you all, it does also come with some preload spacers so you can adjust how stiff that spring is if you need to fine tune it a little bit. Um, and then you can play around with how progressive the thing is by just messing with a shock pump on the trail, um, which is another really cool feature because again, it's much more convenient than having to deflate your fork and remove the whole top cap and add tokens. So um, cool feature right there. So on the trail, A plus, it did exactly what it said it did and uh, definitely sort of improved that performance of the fork in the ways that it claimed it was going to, making it much more supple and linear and planted in that first 65% of the travel and retain that progressivity at the end. What are some pros and cons to this thing? Let's dive into that. Pros and cons. So I've kind of been saying all of the pros of this thing. It absolutely works amazing and it does exactly what Push says it does in the sense of giving you that coil-like feel but also maintaining the progressivity of an air suspension fork. Um, those are definitely the pros. Cons, it's a bit pricey, right? So they only make it for uh, a handful of forks right now and being 389 bucks and then you got to install the thing, it's a pretty pricey upgrade but it, if it's what you're looking for in terms of an upgrade, that's probably a very justified cost for you. Um, but yet it is pricey. It is made in Colorado, which is a cool feature about it for sure. Um, more cons. Um, I think one of the main ones for me was sort of just the weight. It's really not that heavy, but it is more. If you're comparing it to just basically this, which is the air spring that's going to be in your Pike or Lyric right now, versus all of this, um, it does add some weight to your bike. Um, is that significant? Not really, if you're a weight weenie, you're not gonna like it, but if you're considering changing your air fork to a coil fork because you want a very specific feel, then you're probably not concerned about the additional weight, but I would still toss it under in a con because it does make your bike heavier. Um, one last downside is once you do convert to this thing, you unfortunately can't convert back. Just the way that um, the coil moves around inside of the stanchion does not really allow you to change back unless you replaced your entire CSU. So that is a con, once you get the thing, you can't can't really go back to the air feel without replacing the whole CSU, which is kind of half the price of the fork. So that's the only other con right there. Um, overall, I was super impressed with this thing. It was really fun to ride. Uh, it definitely, it makes the bike feel like it has more travel than it does. Almost like it makes a pike feel more like a boxer, which is the RockShox downhill fork. Um, it just makes any like sort of enduro bike feel much more like a downhill bike in terms of being planted, supple, squishy, stable, uh, which is a really cool feeling. So let us know in the comments if you guys would ever consider one of these coil kits for your fork. Um, if you do or you don't, either way, share this video with your MTB buddies that might because they might be interested in this sort of thing. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one.